Hey there, Unitic here. It is Friday, September 4th, the beginning of Labor Day weekend. I am holed up for a day off here at the uh, Dolores River Campground. Been hanging out in their rec room today. Um, decided this was a good place to take a zero after seven consecutive days of riding through the Rocky Mountains from Pueblo, Colorado. About 350 miles and a lot of climbing. And uh, I was a little worn out. And I'm getting ready to head into some rough stretches of the desert in Utah over the next several days where I've got to cover big miles, probably, for me at least, um, 160 miles over two days because there's long gaps where there are no services, no towns, just stretch of desert and mountains. And uh, so I wanted to rest up and uh, sleep and been reading and just hanging out in an easy chair and it's been raining off and on all day so i picked a really good day to to take a rest and this is a pretty cool campground this rec room is great and uh even got a cool uh restaurateur who uh camps here and uh, last night they made wood-fired pizzas perfect timing because all i had was ramen noodles and uh, peanut butter and this morning, he's got a, a great 1962 Airstream trailer that's converted into a coffee shop. So I was able to get a breakfast burrito after I had my oatmeal and an extra cup of coffee. All good. So tomorrow, heading into Dolores, um, hoping to make it to um, Blanding, Utah, which will be an 84-mile day. They're calling for really high winds tomorrow, and I'm, I'm just hoping maybe there'll be crosswinds for me but uh, they very well may be headwinds. And if I have to abort, I can stop in Monticello, and uh, that'll only be about 64 miles. Um, but I'll have to stay an extra night in Blanding because then the long stretch of about 80 miles, 78 miles, down to Lake Powell, and uh, one camping option down there, and after that, you've got another 50 miles to uh, Hanksville, the next town. So I have to make Blanding a, a jump-off point, whether I make it there tomorrow or whether I have to take a short day to Monticello and then just cover Blanding and maybe take some more rest, which is fine because I'm on schedule. We covered 1,750 miles in the first five weeks. and been averaging, excuse me, a lot of flies in here. Been averaging about 350 miles a week consistently, and uh, today's only the second day that I've not ridden at all, although I've taken some short days. So I should be right on track for reaching uh, the Pacific by October 3rd. Um, hopefully get in there a day or so early and uh, take a break, and then we'll have a celebration on the beach and uh, see if the Pacific in October was as cold as the Atlantic in April. Anyway, i um, still got a bunch of mountains to climb. Uh, Utah's got a number of them, including a big climb up by Cedar Breaks before I get into Cedar City here in about a week or eight days, somewhere around September 12th or 13th. And then Nevada is even more remote with uh, several climbs every day. It's got basically a north-south mountain ranges that you climb, then cross long basins and uh, hit a fault and another mountain range and do that two or three times a day. But uh, it still looks like beautiful country. And then uh, one big climb in the Sierra Nevada in California at the uh, eastern side of California, and then it'll level out for me for the last, uh, I don't know, five, six, seven days up to the coast. So looking forward to some good riding, crossing my fingers for more good weather. I've been really lucky this first five weeks. Only had to ride in serious rain one time and uh, picked a really good day to take a day off today and avoid the rain. And uh, hopefully the wind will cooperate. That's the biggest thing that uh, um, causes havoc for a cyclist is, is headwind. And I've only had one really bad day of that in Kansas. And, uh, but I imagine I'll get one or two more before it's all said and done. But for today, 
five weeks under the belt, 1,750 miles. And uh, I think I miscalculated earlier on a, on a Facebook post. I've actually got just a little over 1,200 miles to go. So, um, you know, that's good. I, I can take some more days off if I need to or do some short days when I can um, in between these, these long kind of desert open spaces. So for today, that's Unitic out. Thanks for all the support. And if you want to give us a boost before we uh, make it to the end, um, I'll make an unabashed plea for meal money and, and motel money um, or, or campground money. You can make a small contribution would be wonderful at uh, the Help Us page on our website, trekfortruth.org. Um, again, we're kind of running on fumes after being out since April and uh, still got to buy an airline ticket to get home. So thanks for the encouragement. If you can contribute or you have, thank you. If you can't, no worries. And believe me, I know Lyme patients, you got to take every dime you can scrape up and put it into your treatment. And that's as it should be. That's got to be your number one priority. Take care, strength and courage, heart and soul. Unitic out for the day.